Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we will talk about the sources that the Chart Builder plugin offers us for importing our data and for creating both static and dynamic charts. So, first of all, install and activate the Chart Builder plugin. And now, uh, this is how my dashboard looks like. After choosing the line chart, this is our dashboard and here you can see that we have four possible sources. The first one is import data from file. Here we can see that you will be able to choose a CSV file and import it into the plugin and display a static chart. So for that, uh, all we need to do is to click on the choose file button, then choose a file from our device. And let's click on show on chart. So here it is. Here you can see that my data is already imported into the uh, into the plugin. And here I have a static chart, uh, which means that the results that are included in my CSV file will be uh, imported into the plugin. And in case you want to showcase some um, data that is very much important for you and uh, which is static, do not forget about it. This option is um, convenient for you. Here also we have the show results button where we can see which uh, particular result this, uh, the chart is showing. So this is all you need to know about the import data from file uh, option. So here we can see the second source is to connect to Google Sheets, but we'll talk about it at the end. So now let's uh, see what uh, connect to database source is about. So if you're a developer uh, or someone who has that skills, this option is very convenient for you because here you will be able to add your query and display the data. Um, as you may have guessed, this data added here will be uh, dynamic, which means uh, in case uh, your data is changing, uh, the query will be changed as well. So here I will add a query and let's see how it actually works. Uh, here is my query. It is about th how many posts I have in my um, in my website, uh, how many of them are published, are in trash, are on draft, and so on. So let's click on the show on chart button, and here it is. Here we can see that the majority of my posts are published. Um, none of them is private, and also here I have a draft uh, draft post as well. Again, here you can see that we have show results button. Here you can see the numbers, um, and that's all. Uh, this is all you need to know about the database uh, source. Again, I would like to mention that uh, you will be able to add any query here because. Um, um, because the chart builder plugin is mainly concentrated on displaying uh, both static and dynamic charts. So in case you want to display a dynamic chart, uh, this uh, plugin is the right decision for you. Uh, so in case uh, my, my post will be added, uh, the number here will be changed as well, no matter I have added a new query here or not. Uh, but do not forget to click on the save query button so that the changes will be made. Another option here we have is the manual data. Uh, here we can see that you will be able to add data manually here. Um, I guess it is uh, by default. Here we have an example which we have countries and their population. Here we'll be able to add rows. Uh, for example, let's add a row and write a country, for example, Russia, uh, and add their population. I don't know uh, the exact number. I will write something like this. Uh, also, you will be able to add another column here, add your data as well. So again, let's click on the show on chart button. And here we can see that the results are changing. Uh, again, note that the manual data is for creating a static chart because um, the uh, because the data is being added manually, so the system will not be able to make any changes by itself. So, in case you have a new data, you will go. You will need to go back here and add your data. As I've already promised you, we will talk about the Google Sheets integration, which will allow you to add your data from Google Sheets right to your chart in WordPress. 
Here we can see that we have the instructions button by clicking which you will see all the steps that must be taken for connecting to Google Sheet. Uh, but in case you will have some other questions, uh, here we have another video tutorial special for you uh, where you can see all the steps that are important for uh, successfully connecting to Google. So now let's follow all the instructions and see how we can connect. First of all, all we need to do is to click on the following link and after that go to the credentials tab and click on the create credentials button. So here we are, uh, as it was mentioned, we will need to move to the credentials tab, click on the create credentials button, choose this option. Choose the application type as web application. Um, and here we will need to add the URL provided by the plugin. Let's copy and paste it and click on the create button. After that, uh, we'll need to copy the following uh, client ID, paste it here, copy the client secret and paste it here and click on the connect button. After that, choose your email address. Here you will need to choose all these options and click on the continue button. So here we are, I have uh, successfully connected to the plugin. So after successfully connecting, uh, we'll need to go back to our Google Cloud and here we can see that we have the enable APIs and services. Uh, here we'll need to click on this button. So here we'll need to enable our Google Drive. Let's enable it. And let's go back to the following section again click on the enable APS and now search for Google Sheets let's search again find the appropriate option and click on the enable button so now if both uh, Google Sheets and Google Drive are enabled let's go back to our chart builder uh, choose the already created chart which is line chart in our case uh, here, let's choose the connect to Google Sheets and select the spread sheet. Let's choose, for example, this line chart and click on the show on chart button. So here it is. My chart describes the information, the data uh, in this following sheet where, we, where I have the months and the sales. So here it is. Again, let's click on the show results button where we have the exact data. Um, and that's all. Chart Builder plugin is known to be the Google Chart alternative in WordPress and by ha and having this integration uh, available in the plugin is another opportunity for you to display your Google Charts on your WordPress website. So in case you have some particular desires for your chart, here we can see that we have the settings tab where you can customize all the settings of your chart and a particular line chart settings. So that's all for today. I hope this video was useful for you and in case you want to have both static and dynamic charts right on your WordPress website, the Chart Builder plugin is all you're looking for.